My full name is Frank Kaoru Inami. I was born in Madeira, California. In 1931, I was 10 years old. He took the whole family, not the, the other, let's see, the younger two weren't born yet, but he took the whole family to Japan, to his ancestral home in Hiroshima. I would go around telling the, I would criticize the Japanese government, you know, 10 years old and I, <laughs> and because they invaded, invaded China, see, that's illegal. And I would tell the, my playmates that you got an emperor who you claim is God, he's human like anybody else. In the United States, we have a presidential system, and even I, as a native-born American, can become president of the United States. Dad used to tell me that if you can get into UC Berkeley, then he says, we'll do everything to pay your way. When we graduated in June of 1935, graduated grammar school, they gave an award to the most outstanding student. And uh, Miss Ebling, one of the teachers, called me out of the room. And everybody says, ah, Frank's gonna get that award, that's why they're priming him for the award. Well, she took me in another room and gave me a fountain pen and said, this, is, this fountain pen is given to you as being an outstanding student from the faculty. I knew right away that I would not get the American Legion Award. My classmate Bob Stevenson got it. And so I went to see Miss Christie. She looked at my record and says, oh, what do you want to become an engineer for? I said, I want to become an engineer. I'm interested in radio and all these things. I said, why? And she says, there are only two companies that hire electrical engineers, GE and Westinghouse. And they bluntly tell us, we don't even want to interview Chinese or Japanese. So she says, why don't you change your major to business? At that time, dad had changed to, had a little grocery store, mom and pop. So she says, why don't you change your major to business? and go home and run your dad's uh, store, see. Little, get a four-year degree just to run a little mom and pop store. <laughs> the Japanese students called. We called ourselves a Japa Sapa Kai to make it sound like a Greek, right? One of the Greek fraternities, Japa Sapa Kai. But uh, I was all in favor, but uh, some of the guys didn't like the term Japa, and also Sapa being a bunch of saps. <laughs> so the name didn't quite stick. When Roosevelt sent a letter to the Emperor of Japan, Willie says, hey, there's gonna be a war within a week. So I asked him why. He says, look, the Emperor of Japan is God. Roosevelt is not God. You don't talk to God, you talk to his prime minister. But he sent this note directly to the emperor. Oh, that's, that's a no-no. The gods of Japan are gonna start the war. Vice President, Mr. Speaker, members of the Senate and of the House of Representatives, yesterday, December 7th, 1941, a date which will live in infamy. Some of the guys who are listening to the radio says, hey, Pearl Harbor's been bombed. And we thought a Dutch Harbor which up in Alaska. And uh, oh, who in the heck wants that Dutch Harbor up in Alaska? 
and then we realized it was Pearl Harbor. The, the real uh, impact of the war didn't hit us until we came back. Rumors started that they're going to line us up, especially the men, and just mow us down, kill us all together, all kinds of rumors. And then uh, when uh, Roosevelt signed that uh, 9066 executive order, it, uh, it really hit us uh, that uh, our, uh, our future is on hold here. Oh, uh, I feel that it's uh, quite an honor because, see, getting a degree from UC Berkeley has quite a bit of uh, prestige to it, especially in the engineering fields. See, uh, later in my life, I, uh, I uh, did a lot of recruiting for engineers, and uh, there's a pecking order and uh, of the top engineering schools and uh, UC Berkeley ranks among the top. So uh, even though it doesn't mean anything anymore, I've been retired 25 years so <laughs> having a degree but the, the prestige uh, I often mention I have 26 nephews and nieces out of the 26 nephews and nieces, half of them went to the UC system. And many of them have their on their cars. Go Bears, UC Berkeley. Now I can't do that until I got my honorary degree. I went looking for a license plate over in the student union, but I couldn't, couldn't find the one I wanted. Or they have stickers on their cars, right? Go Bears or UC Berkeley or whatever. I'll have to get some of those put on my car. <laughs>